Let's say if we want to find the sum of only the Mazda vehicles in this list. So we don't want to find the sum of all these numbers, but just basically a selected sum. So what we need to do is type in equal sum if brackets, and then we need to select a range. So the range will be the car type. And then comma, the criteria will be based on whatever is in this cell, cell B14, and then comma, the sum range. So these are the numbers that we wish to add. Close parentheses, enter. This should be the car type, actually, instead of Mazda. Now we're going to put the word Mazda in this cell. And so, notice that we get the total sum of all the Mazda vehicles. So that's 125 plus 142 plus 425. And you could check it. If you type in equal sum 125 comma 142 comma 425, it will give you 692. Now you could change it. Let's say if we want to find the sum of the Honda vehicles, it's automatically going to adjust. There's only one type of Honda vehicle in this list, so it's 174. If we want to find the sum of all the Toyota vehicles, just type it in and it automatically gives us a sum. So we have a 326 for Toyota, 89, and 274. So if we type in equal 326 plus 89 plus the other one, which is 274, we get 689. So the sum if function helps us to find the sum of a certain element in this list, rather than the sum of all of these numbers in that list. Like and follow for daily tips.